guys, I hope everyone had fun at pre-release. I just came back from my second one. I opened all the booster packs with my friends and some of the new players because the new players were really, they wanted to open booster packs and I was like, okay, here's some booster packs you can open. I have a video recording. It's just very, very low quality because it was shot on my potato phone, which is iPhone. But anyway, I want to talk about two cards, West Vale Abbey and TITI. So West Vale Abbey, I pulled one of these in my second pre-release, the one that happened today. Did not know this card was $20. So I feel a lot better about my pre-release now because I played aggro both times. West Vale Abbey is not great in an aggro deck, obviously, but I played it as, you know, it was as a bonus. It's very good. Um, I feel like in standard, it's going to have a good showing in standard. It fits in so many of the control -y decks. And it makes tokens. And by the way, you get a 9-7 with... Flying, Haste, Life Link, and Indestructible. Very hard to kill that card now that Crackling Doom is rotating out. You have to use some Sacrifice ability, which I'm not sure how many there are in Standard at this time. But yeah, so it is $17 in TCG Player made, and it is $20 on Star City Games. So I did pull both prices, and it's interesting to look at the price difference. And it's also sold out on Star City Games. The second $20 card, that's a non-mythic, T-I-T-I, let's call it T-I-T-I. We can call it something else, but we're not going to do that. It's also $19.99 on Star City Games and also out of stock. I feel better about West, West Vale Abbey than I do about this card. Uh, this card I had played against me in pre-release seems very good. I mean, obviously it's very good in pre-release. I just don't know if you're going to commit that much to it and then they can kill it. Uh, so it is about $13. I guess we'll see the TCG mids. $13, $15 TCG mids, $20 on Star City Games. We have two $20 non Fetchland non Mythics. I cannot remember the last time that has happened. I know Battle Oath of the Gatewatch wasn't, I mean, some cards were over $10, but that was about it. And I know that. Battle for Zendikar, even the Mythics were, Gideon was only one worth $20 until a little later. So anyway, oh, it's $13 TCG mids, 20 on Star City Games. These are two cards that I believe are very overhyped. It is very difficult for a non-Mythic to keep the price point of $20. And to have two of them in a set where also there's lands and really good Mythics, hard, hard to do. I don't know.